Chapter 5. The end of Aerofell. Well, they seem pretty honest. <laughs> it's like, hey, this is the end. Why am I wearing a suit? We're three hours into the stream. And this is the first time you bring up my attire? I, I like dressing up. Why not throw this on? Team Ruby, apologies for the bout of danger. I'm relieved to see you overcome a trap. No more trains, right? These are all uh. safe. Trust issues. All of Harper set this up. Harper isn't for real friend. Warm main is. Monster Glass provided a blueprints of Aerofell technology firm, produced and distributed the tech for personal profit. The most dangerous of the tech, but orbs, were smuggled to Fivestone, who we believe worked under a serious threat. Only his unique semblance could power the orbs. Lieutenant had been spying on the Atlas military from the... Each time our intelligence was close to a lead, she would forsake an ally in the operation to misdirect us from the truth. Hormane had grown powerful enough to amass armies of Grimm with an experimental military-grade defense. What we don't know is, is if this is an attack on the development of Amity Tower or something else entirely. However, a foe with Aerofell access should have us on the highest alerts. Aerofell. Aerofell. That's a suspended military operation. Why, my predecessors were the one who put an end for this project for this very reason. The technology was deemed too dangerous and high risk of the wrong hand. The keepers of Aerofell were the only ones who should have had legitimate access, but their identity was taken to the grave by my pre- It's been a mystery and a potential hole in our security that keeps the Atlas Council up at night. But I don't believe anyone suspected it could be this dire. He said the keepers of Aerofell. Hmm. But something Bianca said, General Ironwood, the keepers of Aerofell are Team Briar. But it's true, the, underground, the unknown group of mercenaries that the Aesops were looking into truly are involved. I seem really I believe you under, already understand what to do now. We need to find a way into Fort Aerofell to halt Four Main's plans, whatever they may be. The Aesops suspect the entrance to be at Beast Cord. The orbs are just beginning. Since Four Main has infiltrated Fort Aerofell, there are countless weapons at its disposal. I'll call up the Aesops in to assist where possible, but the first line of securing Fort Aerofell and taking down Four Main is on you, Team Ruby. This is the kind of mission we've trained our whole lives for. Four main has the power to harm many people. We won't let that happen. Even if it's our toughest task yet, there's no way we'll back down now. Team Ruby is on it. General Ironwood, let's go. Hey, we still gotta find out the, those strange blocks. Is that what we have to do next? Clover and Penny, what's going on? All of Harper's here. This may be the entrance. The gate won't open. Aerofell might be involved the moment I heard about these orbs. Call it Aesop's intuition. As a result, Alice Military Intelligence has been gathering data on the matter ever since. There's a way inside. And I helped. Hey, managed to manage locate the gates that we believe lead to an underground location known as the Crystal Nexus. These Nexus gates are hidden entrances to an underground network for us leaders. These allow the keepers of Aerofell to sneak about various areas. In Briar, they use the Nexus gates to travel around. General Ironwood has informed us that there is a belief that Team Briar may be acting as a keeper's of Aerofell. Can't say without the cooperation on this matter, our options become very limited. It is impressive that Team Ruby convinces them, imperative that Team Ruby convinces them to assist in this gambit. Everyone thinks I'm naturally charming. It's going to go great. Even if Penny can hack the Nexus gates open, the Fort Aerofell gate here is not quite the same. We believe four unique Nexus keys are required to enter Fort Aerofell. Find the keepers of Aerofell, retrieve the four Nexus keys. Then can do what exactly? I can open the Nexus gates. They eventually figured out that I can rapidly transmit electromagnetic interrogation pulses over a few seconds. They made a 4v1? Well, there's still more opportunities to fight them, it seems like. This requires that I match the frequency first, allowing me to get those signals in. One of the signals is bound to be a correct match, and then it opens. Fort Aerofell gate is much more sophisticated. I see. Each member of Team Briar likely uses their own secret nexus gate to reach the Crystal Nexus. You'll need to retrace your steps throughout to lead us carefully to find them. Do you like before checking if we know where they are? Someone in this game has to be cold. You know, I don't think that's like the least believable thing in a world with like magical superpowers is if someone's cold or not. For merchants. Yeah, the merchant looks like he stays pretty warm, right? He's all bundled up. Not anyone else, though. He's wearing a big jacket. Yeah, is the merchant your favorite character now? Is he, is he, is he your favorite? Because he's actually cold, uh, not cold. Dresses appropriately. He's the only one who doesn't want to catch a cold. He's definitely your fave. I think that's a first. A screw, screw Team Ruby, right? It's all about the merchant. That's our guy. That's our goat. When's the merchant going to return? For Ruby Volume 1, like Volume 8? What's the next one? Volume 9? The Merchant will be back in Infinity War. I'm excited to be on another adventure with you. This is the first of the four. You're a bass penny. So how are we busting in? Got it. Uh -huh. Activate the seal. Getting closer to 3,000, man. Lend me your energy! That was amazing, teach me! You simply have to activate your radio transponder and record the frequency into a databank. We have turned your communications chip to the recorded frequency, we will designate an array of... Never mind, I don't have any of that stuff. Should we head inside? If it really is Team Briar's head out, we'll have to tread carefully. How tall am I, Mr. Rip Snake Silver? It's Silver Snake. Um, 5'11", I think? I'm, I'm somewhere in the range of like 5'11", 6 foot, something like that. Damn, I'm tall? 
Yeah, I kind of get that a lot. <laughs> I kind of get that a lot, actually. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm not a short king. I, I know I betrayed the chat. I, I'm not who I said I was, but the troop is out. 512 is way shorter than 6 feet. True. They, they would never, ever be the same number. Here we go. Why is a scam caller trying to get, call me from Round Rock, of all freaking places? Only intellectuals can play Blake? Let me play it right now. No, I'm not gonna give a scam caller, um, the time of day. It's good content? I don't know, man. Extended car warranty? How do you know exactly what he wanted me to buy? And that was a he. Are you the scam caller, Dog Biscuits? Are you, are you doxing me right now? That's why you've been here secretly this entire time. You're not a fan. You're, you're trying to try to grab my IP, dude. That's exactly what you've been up to this entire time. I just failed to realize it. GG's off. GG's. Shake hands. Well, chat, I guess the stream is both Ogre and Jover. Uh, it was a good run. Spent a lot of money on the stream. A lot of time on it, too. Uh, see you the next never. We'll make sure to beat the game first, but then, you know, I'll have to, I'll have to delete the channel. I gotta delete, delete the VODs. No evidence left behind. I guess we'll go in order. One, two, three, playground street under the slide. Oh, sh bro, bro, he's he's caught me, dude. Wait, what color is the slide? At least, if you know that much, what color is the slide? You, you ought to know that much, right? If you're for real? Metal slide? He knows I live under the metal slide, dude. 500 degree slide? Oh, hell no, dude. Great, now that's gonna be all there, all out there in the internet. We're gonna know to check under that slide for my uh, streaming setup. Just me and my two cats in the streaming setup. Oh, there's a waifu. There's a waifus. Oh, I won't let you take another step in the crystal nexus. Seriously, don't try. You'll be burned to a crisp in a fraction of a second. Take it down a notch. We're not here to make problems. Do you want to work with you? Why should I do that? We both have a common enemy. Still can't believe foreign main bamboozled us like that. I understand how it feels to have your trust broken. Believe me. And we were two, we two were tricked. Now it's been time to feel bad about it. We're here because we'd like to ask for your nexus. We believe that key, we can enter the port Aerofell and bring four main adjusted. Can't just give it to you. It makes me a keeper of Aerofell. It's useless on its own. We want to speak to each of you. You did kind of break into our hideout. You have, you have dreams of failing exams for classes that don't exist literally every night. Dude, is, is school stressing you out? You okay, dog biscuits? Your ambition is infectious. All right. Nexus key. This will help us grade it. Can't thank you enough for entrusting me. If giving you that nexus key is all it takes to see four main get served, I'm ready. It's a Fort Arafel and burn it all down. No room in Salidas for double crossers like four main who endanger innocence. Thank you for your duty, Rowan. You are now and always a keeper of Arafel. We're just going to carry the torch for a bit, okay? You're not so bad, Team Ruby. Let's all have a barbecue after this is done. What do you say? It felt super real, too. And I, I hope you're alright, dude. Try not to stress. I still can't over get over that she still do does the stupid ass Naruto run, dude. Look at this. It's so funny, man. <laughs> Ruby watches too much Naruto, man. It's a pleasure to see you all again. Second of four Nexus Gates. Excellent job, Blake. Crazy for your counting ability. Praise the sun. I guess that answer's bad. Next team, Briar member. Oh, I got shot. I got shot, chat. The drill wipe. Who's there? Team Ruby here. Relax a little. What are you doing here? We're both trained by foreign main. I'm listening. Do you and have a next key? I have it. I used by itself. Everyone else is okay with it too? If an key, I want to see foreign main stops. This plan is egomaniacal and will put people in danger for senseless reasons. Not only that, but that jerk duped us. It's one of the thing if you tricked me, but for the rest of Team Briar, they're like my sisters, okay? We've trained so much together, our sentences are perfectly in sync. You saw how we struck back Goliath? That's because of the faith we all share in one another. Team like ours, you don't see it every day, so I have to protect them, just like they would protect me. Four main took advantage of us all. I can't let it happen. Right off my chest. But I have a cause we're fighting for. It's your team. That's beautiful. We're like sisters. Well, team Ru well, Ruby is my actual sister for real. But Blake and Weiss here, they remind me every day that a team is a family. So, from our family to yours, in the name of that sacred connection, we're gonna kick four main's butt. I'm running for you, team Ruby. Drill hands. Walmart Edward scissored hands? That's mean. But she's pretty. It's a scissor hands wife. Yeah, it's pretty cool how you have a metal arm. Mine are metal too, actually, except mine are more like drills, which is pretty neat sometimes. Never met a can of soup, I cut it open, I'll tell you that much. That was for dog biscuits. When you're in the Tundra Salidas, hot soup really hits the spot, you know? She had 2 out of 10, damn. She is at least a high 8, you know, you're, you're, you're tripping, dude. Especially in the colder parts like Essen, that we met foreign main. Just like you saw, he was always shooing us away at every corner. Why? Because we were steep competition for his worthless guardians. In the effort to extend an olive, olive branch in the name of the stopping a threat to Aerofro, well, we couldn't refuse a big mistake. Oh yeah, the point is we might celebrate our metal arms. When she sleeps, 
Those dirty drills, dirty machines. I imagine she washes them. She washes the drills. And saying this is Ruby, her arms must transform. We haven't seen her arms transform. But I'm sure she has like a metal hand and then it forms into a drill when she needs it. Let's be real. How would she even wash the drills with water, dude? You can't use faucets? You, you can like elbow a faucet, dude. You can elbow a faucet. Let's do the thing. I believe I'm experiencing anxiety. Would you mind terribly to look away? I don't know, man. There's no need to wonder such a question, for I am here, and as long as I'm around, I will continue to support my good friends, best huntresses ever. How would she drive a car? She doesn't need a car. She can G or go on an airplane. Yes, they would destroy her, dude. She can just drill into the ground. You know how fast she can drill? She can drill really fast. She doesn't need a car anymore. See? This is new. How would she get past metal detectors in a bank or something? There has to be some sort of like. You know, that's true. How would she go to a concert or anything? <laughs> I guess she's not going to see your favorite bands anymore. Well, she has a hunt. Well, she's not a huntress. She's a, she's a mercenary. But she was a huntress. She could get away with it because she's she's like, that's like license to carry, right? You work for everybody. You're a huntress. Throw hands are impractical. I never said they were impractical. I just said that you could still kind of live your life that way. That she feels important. Good point. Uh, so close to the end. And I'm kind of feeling like we should have put some more points towards uh, DPS or something, but I guess it's just as useful for defense. It's as useful as being seven feet tall. Good for one or two things only. You are so obsessed with Virgil Hands. I think she's actually your favorite girl. I bet she's your favorite girl in this entire game, and you just don't want to admit it. You just, you secretly want a, a drill hand waifu, and you know, that's okay, I'm all here for it. You don't have to be ashamed. Your favorite girl is a merchant. <laughs> okay, that's everyone's favorite girl. That's kind of cheating. Team Ruby, you're, you've come to Crystal Nexus with a purpose, I assume. Sorry we entered this way. Been observing you closely ever since you reached Essen. Don't wish to disrupt what we defend. If you have resorted to Jurassic Master, simply to reach us, but this is dire. Truly really dire, we need to enter Fort Arrowfell. Took bravery to approach us here. Four of us have, come, have just come to understand we've been deceived. With knowledge of the oath we once took as Keeper's Verifold, he swindled us. I owe you an apology. King Ruby, I bestow this upon you, a passing of a baton, if you will. The Keepers of Arafel have failed. If you not yet, you'll need to reach my teammates by your own means. We're thankful for support. Alright, we got one more uh, Team Briar member to go. A final Nexus gate. Wouldn't it be funny if the last member of, of Team Briar didn't want to give us the Nexus key? No, it would not. Are you trying to jinx us? Sensational, Ruby. Humor is good. I will now initiate for process. It won't open. You may have actually jinxed us. I got you. It's a joke of humor and levity. You may proceed now and laugh as I open the gate. Ivy Thickety. Breaking into Crystal Nexus. Don't think I trust you for a second. We can explain ourselves. I had my eye on you. That's why I believe you're not here to cause harm. Don't think we're friends. How can I trust you? How can I trust anyone? You tricked everyone. You give us our ne your Nexus key. We can go to this compound. Thank you, Ivy. Poor man rolled us up. I was so certain that you were going about playing your ill-gotten Aerofell text throughout Sweetest to attract Graham and cause chaos. But it was Foreign Main who wished to cause chaos and uncertainty to distract General Ironwood from his grand plans. We were ready to check in with Foreign Main after our last encounter with you. He had already kicked us to the curb by then. His use for us had run out. I think it's time to kick him. I'm full of spite and ready to see you use that Nexus key to get in there and show him what for. Alright chat, the final battle. It really opened. The mission has led us here. Wish you good luck. Let's go. I think we pretty much have max hearts. Like, we just went away from having a max heart. Oh, dude. What is this guy? Ambush? Dang, just a monster. Just delete. Has deleted by far the most amount of enemies. With just the greatest of these, really. Ah, oh, it's you. Team Ruby, you made it here. Bowser gameplay, for real, for real. Harper, you, you were responsible for nearly getting us killed. Old forward and press attack. Yeah, I have half a mind to sock you into next week for that one. Why are you in tears? Don't tell me you're feeling remorse. I gave up everything, my morals, my military career, but he lied to me. I knew my actions may forfeit my position as an officer in the Atlas military, or much worse. I did all he asked, because he said it was for the benefit of all of Atlas and Mantle. Better lives for all its people. He just needed me to help him take down Ironwood from what? the inside. It's an awesome attack on Amity Tower, just Ironwood? 
I trusted Bram, but instead of making things better for our kingdom, it was all for his petty revenge. There's a reason why General Ironwood didn't improve for him for the Aesops, now I see why. You can't mean to say you never saw that coming. That man has double-crossed everyone he's ever met. I was wrong about him, now I see the truth. He simply used me as a pawn in his operation, spying on Ironwood, dealing, dealing through glass, coordinating with Five Stone. I was merely his connection to access it all. Let's go, team. Lieutenant Harper needs time to reflect, and we have a mission to finish. I'm getting sad even staying here. There's nothing I can say to atone for what I've done, but a small gesture. Yo, four skill points? I'm prepared to face whatever awaits for me from here. There's no one who can save me from his fate. As for you, you must defeat Forney. Perhaps he can be saved from himself. That's really useful, actually. That's a full upgrade tree. All right, now for sure, the actual final save. Stop right there, criminal scum. Team Ruby, I can't believe you actually were foolish enough to march right into the lion's den. I'll give you one chance to turn around from here and leave. Tempting, but we'd rather stick around and put an end to your evil plot. Only thing that will be ending if you refuse to leave is your lies. You don't scare us, we're licensed huntresses, and the best around at that. I feel like we have to keep reminding, reminding people about that. Hulk is cheap, fight us, coward. Fine, have it your way. Grab Foreign Man. All those shots managed to miss. <laughs> Well, we'll see. This, this could be the boss leading up to the final boss. We don't know yet. There we go. Shadow Clone plus Yang is yes. It's insane. Oh, he's powering up. He's going Super Saiyan. Phase 2. We got to speed the orbs. I'm just that godlike with it. What can I say? Yang goes crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they can't reach me up here, dude. Okay, phase two down. Why are you doing this, foreign main? What's your beef with Ironwood? Ironwood? James Ironwood will pay! I had it all. I was in the running for a position in the Ace Operatives. After years of tireless training, I could have been a hero to the people. I could have been respected and admired for that power, but no. Instead, he told me, I'm afraid there's no fit for your semblance. Feh. Who needs a semblance, then? I'll show Ironwood what I'm truly capable of. Starting with finishing you off. Crowding up even more, dude. Shin Fornwood. That's a two. He's kind of hit harder. Yeah, he's doing less taunts now. Ah! I think that took off two hearts of health. Oh! And now he has less recovery on stuff? Okay, now he's actually turning up the difficulty a bit. There we go. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a little tougher than that. And there's a boss. Give it up, Foreign Main. He can't beat us. Not with how strong we are. Working together. How could I have been defeated by these rookie students? Oh, come on. We just went over this. We're not rookies, Foreign Main. We are licensed huntresses. There was a of my high huntresses. We didn't see no one else on the premises. They must, they must have escaped. It seems they've abandoned you, old friend. So, Amity Tower was never your target. I was. Your plan was to use these to provoke a grim attack on Atlas. A fiasco for which I would take the blame, and you would be welcomed back as an officer. Amancio Glass, Hanlon Five Stone, your failure today only serves to cast sunlight on the corruption you created among the affluent and underprivileged alike. This is not over, James. It's only a matter of time before they see you for what you really are. So, your first big mission is license huntresses. I thought it went pretty well. And this Aerofell nonsense? On the QT, sir. Good work, team. Team! Team! I'm, I'm part of the team, too. Is it too late to put my fist forward? I'm part of the team, too, Team Ruby. I'll zip you the entire way. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. That's, that's the ending. Personally, I, I thought this was uh, pretty serviceable as a piece of fan service. It was it was a cutesy game. Overall, it was a pretty cutesy game. In the end, we, we were just so swole, just overpowered. 
We developed certain strategies where we could just kind of nuke everything that came our way. Yang is busted. I thought it was Weiss at first, but Yang is the real busted one. Even if you didn't like this game, I, again, I really love Ruby as a show. And it was just nice playing a Ruby game. You know, I, I meant to play this when it first came out, but I didn't get around to it. I like Metroidvanias, I like the way forward team, I like Shantae. So this was, this was serviceable. I'll give it that, it was serviceable. It had some funny dialogue. I do like that they have like uh, animated cutscenes, just like the show, where it's like, it, it's in the style. The, the fight scenes that do take place uh, are very well animated, and they were a treat to watch. I like Team Briar, I want more of them. They have some you know, great character designs. Yes, the draw hands are silly. I like the fact that they put some original songs. I love the Ruby soundtrack, guys. I listen to that all the time. I'm gonna try to listen to, on my own the, the soundtrack to this game. I'm very interested in that. But yeah, that's something they added that we didn't test out, is that they just recently, like yesterday or something, added the Japanese voice casts. It was like this week. So as a fan, it's nice that um, Japan has a release for this game. Five, that's, that's a lot of points, man. That's a lot of hydrates. 500 hydrates, I think. <laughs> It was my math right on that? Something like that, right? 50 hydrates? Okay. Hey, listen, I don't gotta be good at math. I just gotta be good at video games. Thanks for playing. Yeah, no song request. Sorry, buddy. Playtime. 5 hours, 17 minutes. Completion rate, 89%. I thought we kind of powered through the game, but we got 89% on our first run. And there we go.